Hi guys, welcome back. This is Erin from Painting Those Piggies. We have a Millie. She's pouting because I dragged her out of my closet a second ago. She felt the need to explore and she's not allowed in there. So she's, oh, tap on the shoulder. So she's pouting a little bit. I wish you guys could see my shirt. I'm wearing a Cotton Candy Cat shirt. I actually got this from Etsy, but it was a terrible experience, so I'm not going to tell you where I got it from. So we've got a Millie cat here who's slightly angry, but she is back in the video. Hopefully she settles down a little bit. So this week is Glitter Week, and so if you don't like glitter nail polishes, you probably won't like Weekly Manny's this week, but I felt like Glitter Week just kind of happened on its own. I ended up wearing like three glitters in a row, and so I just kind of thought, gotta finish out the week with all glitters. So let's just get right into it. This week wasn't really worth discussing because nothing really great happened. So let's get right into it. This week is going to be from Saturday through Friday. I, Saturday I ended up wearing a Christmas polish and I stinking loved this polish. I haven't gotten to swatch the 9-0 polishes yet. I know you guys are waiting but this week was pretty hectic. But the polish that I wore on Saturday is 9-0's Christmas Curly. Oh my gosh, I freaking love this polish. Millie is rubbing on the tripod. I'm just going to consider that Millie giving you guys some love because she really likes rubbing on the tripod. So this polish is really, really gorgeous. This is what I bought the collection for. If I was just going to pick one polish out of that collection, it was going to be this polish before I had even swatched any of them. This polish is a white Crelly base, and I'll be honest with you, I don't really steer towards Crellies. I usually avoid them like the plague because I don't really like the way they look but this one to me looks like the frosting on a sugar cookie. Millie what are you doing? Digging in a Sephora box. Okay. The white frosting on a sugar cookie with like tiny Christmas sprinkles. I didn't realize this had gold in it as well but it's got green, red, and gold in it and some of the Crelly base doesn't cover up all the glitter so it does like give a little bit of shine to some of the glitters. I loved it so much. It was surprisingly opaque. I only had to do two coats of this to get it fully opaque and I freaking loved it. I didn't want to take it off. It was a little bit difficult to take off the nails, but nothing that wasn't worth it. Next time I wear it, I would wear it for a couple of days just because there was glitter everywhere when I took it off, but it is stunning and it looked exactly like a sugar cookie when I wore it on my nails. Okay, so next up is what I wore on Sunday. So this was New Year's Eve. And on New Year's Eve, like, I did really glam makeup. And then we just didn't do anything. We ended up doing... We kind of started a new tradition. I don't, like like to go to parties or do things like that and neither does my husband we're kind of just homebodies and so we ended up doing like a big Star Wars marathon because we wanted to go see the new Star Wars on Monday so we ended up watching three of the movies that night we had watched two like a couple days before so we watched three of the movies that day and that's how we ended up staying up till midnight that night kind of sounds lame but it was really fun and so I wanted to keep my nails a little bit simple but also glitzy and so I wore this on Sunday and I really really liked it. It's kind of simple in the components but I really liked how it turned out. I decided to do all of my bases for this week as project polishes if they needed a base and that helped me get really good uses out of all the project polishes. So I started with one of my project polishes and that was China Glaze for Audrey and I wanted to use this like silver glitter bomb. This showed up in my December polish haul and this is Essie's set in stones. And I, I just love this polish. I don't know what it is, but it's just like a very vibrant silver glitter. It's not holographic or anything like that, but it just is very vibrantly silver. And I don't know, something about it really draws me in. I did like full glitter on all the nails and it was sparkly, it was shiny. 
and it was gorgeous. I consider light blue and like light teal a winter color for me, so I didn't have any problem wearing a teal blue, and I really loved the way that manicure looked, so that was my Sunday or New Year's Eve manicure. So next up, what I have for New Year's Day or Monday, and I did have this day off, thankfully, so I wanted to go with something just like Glitter Bomb, New Year's, like all the glitter colors I could think of, and honestly, I had a hard time picking, even though I did like New Year's polish picks. I usually never end up picking those colors. I don't know why like I can plan and plan and plan like what polish I'm gonna pick and then for some reason I always change my mind right before like a couple hours before I paint my nails I don't know why I always do that though so I didn't plan anything this year I just like went with something and so the something that I picked for New Year's Day is different dimension Maleficent so This is what I was wearing when the clock turned midnight, when 2018 happened, this is what I was wearing. And this I picked because it is like a glitter bomb in a bottle. My swatches really don't do this justice. I think this color is gorgeous. I picked this up at PolishCon. Honestly, half for the way the polish looked and half for the name. I think Maleficent is awesome and so I really like the Disney villains. but. This polish almost like has an iridescent like blue base to it, almost like a cobalt blue base, and it's just got like every color of like glitter in it. I mean, it's got silver, it's got gold, it's got holographic, it's got just like so much glitter packed in it. I will say that with this one and with Christmas Crelly, I did have to thin them down before I used them, which honestly... It does bother me a little bit when you've never used a polish and you do have to thin it down. That is a personal preference for me. I know with some people it doesn't bother them, but if I'm gonna buy a polish, especially something that's more expensive, I don't think I should have to thin it down to use it. It was a little bit thick, as was Christmas Crelly. I did have to thin down both of the 9-0 lacquers that I've used so far. So that is bothersome to me, but I did have to thin this down, and it is a new polish, so I, that's something to keep in mind. And I don't, I'm usually not like really picky about my formulas, but it was too thick for me to apply like comfortably. So I did thin it down, but it is a gorgeous polish. I did um, two coats, and you'll see it looks like there's. Um, wear on the tips of my nails. I did specifically avoid the tips of my nails. I did not wrap the tips um, in my photos or in my swatches because I don't want glitter, like a textured glitter feeling on the edge of my nails, so I specifically avoided the ends of my nails. It's just like a texture thing. I don't want it like catching on my clothes, so that's nothing to do with this polish. That's all me, but this was a gorgeous. I almost said glorious. It is a glorious polish. It's gorgeous. So that is different dimension Maleficent. Okay, so next for Tuesday, this ended up being a fail, not for the polish, but because of what happened. I underestimate like the time it takes for my nails to dry sometimes, especially when I'm adding like so many coats of polish and then a glitter and then more top coat, etc. So this one just slid right off like last week's manicure, one of last week's that I, I don't remember what it was, but I was in bed and like it just slid right off. So this one I didn't actually wear. I had naked nails on Tuesday, but this one we're gonna count as Tuesday's manicure. The base of this one is Essie's Merino Cool, which is a polish I love. This one is funny because a lot of people loved this on my Instagram and I don't know how I feel about it. This one is Ciate's Showtime and it came from my Ciate advent calendar. It was the only one that, that was the full size which I don't mind. I don't go through polishes that often and this polish is really unique. It's not something that I've really ever seen before. Its base is like a really bright shimmery gold and then it's got like 
hot pink almost like magenta hex glitters in it so I don't know if it was because I put it over a gray polish that I was just like I don't know about the combo I might try it over like a gold or like a champagne or even like a pink polish to see if I like it but my combination I didn't like but a lot of people loved it on my Instagram so I don't know how I feel about this but it did get a lot of love on Instagram so I know that people like it but I don't know how I personally feel about it I might try it over white or black or just something different than I actually did but that one is Tuesdays which totally didn't actually get worn, but that is Siate's showtime. Next up is another favorite for the week. I feel like my swatch photos don't really do this one justice. I just manicure reminded me of, and I know that like cotton candy can be blue or pink or whatever, but this is exactly what this manicure reminded me of, which is why I liked it so much. This is one of my favorite glitters, and I know I've gotten a couple comments before of people saying they want me to incorporate more of my favorite polishes, which makes sense. I do want to incorporate more favorite polishes and keep doing like my favorite polish series. I was stuck on yellow, but I think I might just like do random ones because I know people have asked for like nudes and stuff like that. But I don't know, there's just so many ideas in my head. But regardless of that, this is one of my favorite glitters. I also show one next, but this one for Wednesday's manicure, I started with a base of Essie's Find Me and Oasis, which is also in Project Pan. But this is one of my most loved glitters. It's in a mini bottle. If I could ever find it in a big bottle, I would get it. This is very well loved. This is Ciate's Party Shoes. And it's like a really strange combination of glitters. It's almost like a yellowy gold. And then there's iridescent blue, pink, and then I don't remember what the other gl glitter is. It might be green or purple, but here's what it looks like in the bottle. And you can definitely see my use on this side of the bottle. It is just a mini, but I feel like I just like throw this on top of pastels and I freaking love it. I just... I don't know what it is. It's like such a strange little glitter topper, but I feel like it makes anything like fairy-like. And even though I know I'm like not a kid anymore, I was always a tomboy as a kid. So I never really like grew out of that. Like, I like unicorns. I like fairies. I like things with Disney princesses on them, like kind of face. Like I have an Elsa makeup bag in my bag, like a kid Elsa makeup bag in my bag. And I love it. Like I didn't grow out of that like I'm too old for unicorns or my little ponies face so I like things that remind me of I don't know fantasy creatures I guess but I just love this polish for that reason so that's what that reminded me of the swatches don't show it that great I feel like it kind of drowned out the color of the glitter but it is really pretty so that is Ciate's party shoes Next up is what I wore on Thursday and this one got a really good response on Instagram too. This was one of my favorites from this week and I should have put this in my New Year's Eve polish picks because I have worn this on New Year's Eve. I usually um, in the past have worn it over black but this is a really old polish. I did have to add thinner to it and throw it in the polish shaker which I will do a video on because that was extremely highly requested. This was from the James Bond collection and this is OPI's The Living Daylights. There's something about this weird color mix of glitter. This is a super nostalgic polish to me. This polish was the first polish that I ever like walked into a store like Ulta. I saw it on the display and thought that polish is so cool. I have to have that polish and I remember even thinking like that is so expensive for polish. I, I can't. I can't buy that. And I didn't buy it the first time. And I remember thinking like going home, thinking about it, thinking about it, and then going back and getting it because it was so weird that I loved it. And the Living Daylights is a little bit of a weird mix. It's got silver glitter, it's got teal glitter, and it's almost got like 
a peachy copper glitter so I decided to pair this over OPI's A Great Opportunity which is also in Project Polish and something about that weird copper glitter with the peachy pink of A Great Opportunity looked so good together. It was like those two polishes in all their weird peachy fleshy glory looked amazing together so I really liked that this one was gloopy but I thinned it out well enough although the glitter is just like wallpapered on the side of this bottle but if you if you can see that it's just like a wallpapered amount of glitter on the bottle but there's you know polish on the inside of that let me get it to focus it's just like a solid wall of glitter like you can't even see inside that that glitter it's like someone just like placed those glitters on the wall of the bottle but the inside is fine I just can't get the glitter off the bottle but it's still salvageable but I freaking love this polish and so I wore that and remembered how much I loved it And then we go to today's nails, which is what is on my nails today. For this, I used a base of Essie's Limited Addiction. Oh, I got a Millie behind me. She's taking up my seat. Um, I pulled out this glitter. I feel like I have a really hard time finding rainbow glitters. I feel like what I want is like a normal rainbow glitter, like micro glitter. Nothing weird, just rainbow, micro, micro. I just want like a rainbow micro glitter in a clear base. So if you guys know of a polish like that, please let me know because that is what I'm looking for. So I pulled this one out. I don't remember how I got this polish, but it's one of my oldest indies. And I don't know if Glitter Days makes indies anymore. If, if they do, they make makeup. I'm not sure, but this is Glitter Days Socialite in this This is like a huge bottle of polish, but this one I did a diagonal um, glitter look. Oh, I'm getting I'm getting scratched. She wanted to, she wants me to pet her, but she's scratching me. So this mix is almost like a pastel rainbow, which I really like. I love pastel polishes. Once spring hits, which it's like in the negative. I think it's like minus seven out right now, but once spring hits, it'll just be all pastel, so all the time. But this is a pastel rainbow, and it does have shards of silver glitter in it, so that's why I kept it on a diagonal. I didn't want the shards of glitter sticking off the tips of my nails, so that's why I purposefully kept it on a diagonal off the tips of my nails. And so that one is Glitter Days Socialite. Obviously, Millie is here. She was trying to be at the heater on the opposite side of the room, so that's why she wasn't in the video the whole time. As always, if you want to tell us what you want to tell us, like Millie's going to respond to your comments. If you want to tell us what is on your nails this week, what your favorite thing was that you wore, I'm honestly surprised she's still here. Um, please leave us a comment down below. As always, thank you for watching and commenting and appreciating Millie. She knows that you guys watch for her. It's like 75% watch for Millie, 25% nails. She knows. <laughs> right? Okay. Thank you guys for watching and we'll talk to you in the next video. Again, I said we. <laughs> Bye guys. You happy cat? You want me to paint your nails? Mel, yeah. do you want me to paint your nails? What color? Orange is your favorite color. Do you want orange nails? <laughs>